Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton to check out yet another Riptide Blue 2024 Equinox. And I know you're going to say, Mike, we just did one of these. And I'm going to say, look, I try to bring you as many different trim levels as I can for each model of car we review. And I can't control when these things are delivered to the dealer. So we got two Equinoxes in a row for Chevrolet. And this one is the RS package. Now, the RS package on the 24 Equinox, just like in 2023, is an appearance package only. So we're going to check this out, see what it's bringing to the market here in this compact two-row SUV segment. So let's dig in. All right, the front end on this Equinox RS. Again, the Riptide Blue with the gloss black on the grill, blacked out Chevy bow tie in the middle. RS edge in red on the right side of the grill, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, standard bulbs for turn signals, functionality in the grill top and bottom. However, it would have been nice instead of having these fake vents here, maybe punch these out, make them a side air curtain. But overall, it's, I like the RS appearance package on the Equinox. It makes it look pretty sharp. Wheel and tire package on the Equinox RS. We have a 19 inch aluminum dark Android wheel. Looks like the color is gunmetal gray, but Chevy calls it dark android with the blacked out Chevy bow tie on the center cap. Standard brake and rotor package. Now, these 19 inch wheels, they're aluminum alloy, are wrapped in Hankook Kinergy GT all season tires, 235 on the width, a 50 series sidewall 19s, all four corners, front wheel drive but you can also get the Equinox in the RS trim in all-wheel drive. Full side profile on this Equinox RS. Now the RS package is going to give you the blacked out look, right? So gone are the silver wheels. We got these dark Android wheels. The Equinox badge blacked out on the door. We are color matched on the door handles. We, uh, have painted around the wheel wells rather than the flat black plastic and the color riptide blue which is such a good color on this vehicle i thought the lt looked good but i think with this rx appearance package when everything is just blacked out especially around the windows uh, and you don't see any chrome bling on it i think it looks a bit better with this color let me know what you guys think move on on closer we have color match on the side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched on the front and the rear door handle. Up top, we are a color matched roof spoiler, gloss black on the roof rails, flat black on the shark fin antenna, and we do not have a sunroof. All right, the rear end on the Equinox RS, we have the roof spoiler coming off the top. We have the window wiper down below on the glass, the black dot Chevy bow tie. Now we do have LED taillights and LED turn signals on the back of the Equinox. Equinox in black on the bottom left of the tailgate, RS in red on the right. Then we have more Riptide blue, some gloss black, and then down below we have more Riptide blue. There's a panel right in the middle of the bottom of the bumper which has the tow hitch, and we'll take a look at those numbers when we go over the engine. But the exhaust is tucked up underneath the bumper. And on the RS, I thought maybe it would have been a bit cooler if we had some chrome pipe sticking out the back. Let me know what you think. All right, we're under the hood of this 2024 Equinox RS. And what do we have for a power plant? We have a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine made it to a six speed automatic transmission, 175 horsepower, 203 pound feet of torque. This Equinox can tow up to 1,500 pounds. MPGs 26 in the city, 31 on the highway, 28 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior of this Equinox, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much do I ha have to pay for this RS? Because I like it the way it looks better than the LT that we saw the other day. Well, MSRP for this Equinox RS front-wheel drive, the four options, 30950 And what do you get in the RS package that uh, is included? Well, you get the... A compact spare tire, the accented RS interior, the unique RS grill, black bow ties and badging, black roof rails, and window surrounds, the 19-inch aluminum dark Android wheels, Stabilitrax stability control system with traction control. Now, this vehicle has some options, so it has an additional $1,200 for the safety and infotainment package, heated steering wheel, 
USB data ports, power outlet, 8-inch infotainment screen, wireless CarPlay Android Auto. The safety assistance package has the surround 360 degree cameras, the outside heated power adjustable manual folding color mirrors, and adaptive cruise. Then we have to add in an additional $1,395 for destination delivery from Chevrolet's Mexico assembly plant. And we have a total MSRP for this vehicle from the factory of $33,545. So we're looking at about $3,500 more roughly than the LT we saw the other day. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the footbox, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. We have our Chevrolet all-season mats in the car. We have a flat black plastic door sill plate that says Equinox to welcome you to the vehicle. Seats, we have power seats with lumbar for the driver, manual assist for the front passenger. Then we have this uh, simulated leather or leatherette outer with a cloth inner with red stitching to give you that Equinox vibe with some stitching on the insert as well. Headrests are pretty firm. Bolstering is pretty soft. But overall, it's a nice looking interior. All right, door panels. We kind of have the similar vibe as we had on the LT, where we have soft touch and then some hard plastic up top with a chrome door handle. We do have a nice soft armrest with some stitching flat black on the switch gear. So it looks good. The door pocket is fairly small, but not bad. And then we have our standard speaker system in here. Up on the top here, we do have soft touch, more soft touch with the stitching bring that RS vibe in. This is hard plastic here, and then the glove box is nice and large. Okay, the infotainment screen, we got the 8-inch Chevy infotainment screen. We do not have nav, so all the nav will come through your phone, but as you can see, we have wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, and it is a touch screen, so you can go through additional information, Bluetooth your phone, Wi-Fi hotspot, you can go into your settings, configure the vehicle how you would like, so it really is a pretty easy system to use. And what I like most about it is we have a beautiful backup camera. And in this one, we have the 360 degree view cameras. Looks great. Takes up the whole screen. Really sharp. GM's got some of the best backup cameras. And then here in the back, you can switch around your views if you would like to see different camera views. So that is a nice touch uh, on this Equinox. So... I kind of like it. Then we can go to our trailer, overhead trailer view. Look at that action. So we can get that trailer on. I mean, they really got some nice stuff here in this camera. Well done on that one, Chevy. And then down below, you have your hard controls to go through your music and whatnot. You have your engine auto stop, start, on, off. We'll take that off. Four-way hazards, dual climate. So that's a nice touch. And then we have three-stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Down below here, we have a USB-C, USB-A aux jack. This should be a 12 volt, and it is. And then we have an area for storage down here. We don't have wireless charging. Electronic, uh, excuse me, that is your uh, parking sensors on off. Here is your RS gear shift. As you can see, it says RS on it with the leather and the stitching to go through the six-speed automatic. So I like that touch. We have an electronic emergency brake, two cup holders with a chrome ring, which looks nice, lifts it up a little bit. Chevy key fob, really nice key fob. Lock, unlock, remote start, pop the tailgate, and your panic button, and a Chevy bow tie on the back. Another small area for storage. Then we have soft touch up here with our stitching, semi-soft. Open that up, and then you have a removable tray, and then you have two USBs in here for connectivity. The RS steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrap steering wheel, nice 10 inch notches, nice red stitching, looking good. The Chevy bow tie on the horn button that's blacked out, so I like the, the fact they keep that consistency. We have a round bottom wheel, but this is a pretty big cabin. And we also have our tilting and telescoping wheel, so they got you covered there. But with the RS, might be nice to have a flat bottom. Let me know what you think. Flat black on your steering wheel switch gear. You have your heated steering wheel right up here on the left. And then over here, you have your cruise control, safety suite controls. On the right, you have your telephone voice commands and controls for the digital portion of your dash. We don't have any paddles. On the left here, you have your adaptive high beams and your turn signals. And on the right, front and rear wiper. Down below here, you can brighten and dim the dash, adjust your headlights. 
on our dash, we have that analog digital combo, analog gauges for your speedometer, tachometer, fuel level and coolant temperature, and then you have the small display in the center that'll take you through additional information that you may want to see as you're driving. So it really is a pretty not easy system to use, and I kind of like it. Let me know what you guys think. Overhead console, there's a spot for your shades right there. We have LED dome lighting to have that come on and off when you open and close the door. This button right here needs to be in the off position. And then when you open the door, your lighting will come on. Close the door, the lighting will dim out. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. On star right here. Now, sun visor with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does to block out the side sun. Then in the back of this RS, I have the seat set for my driving position. So we'll hop on in. Nice flat roof so it's easy to get in. And once I'm in, plenty of room at 5 foot 11 for my head, for my knees, for my shoulders. We do have this uh, leatherette all the way down with a seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. Here in the back, we have two cup holders and we have two USBs for connectivity, and way down below, we've got a home power source. Now, on our door panels, nice vibe on the door panel. The only difference is we have hard black plastic up top now, so we have the front door panel looking good, the rear door panel looking the same, but we do have the red stitching, we do have the comfortable uh, armrest, and in the back seats, same vibe with the leatherette and the cloth insert with the stitching, with the design. The headrests are still pretty firm, but the seats feel comfortable. And then we have our armrest, pretty firm, two cup holders. So overall, it's a pretty comfortable place to be here in the back of this Equinox. But here we go with the cargo area. Open the tailgate. Just come to the back here. And pop it from your key fob or hit the button. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way back using this button right down here. Now, in the back with the rear seats up, 29.9 cubic feet of space in the back of this Equinox. As we move in closer, here are the floor mats. I would have loved to seen the, have these floor mats say RS <coughs> or have some stitching or some piping. No dice, front license plate bracket, all season Chevrolet floor mat. Underneath here, more storage, and then underneath this, you have your small spare. So thank you, Chevy, for the spare. On the right side, you got your 12 volt for power. And then you also have levers to drop the rear seats. So we'll drop those now. Down they go. To the right, boom, down it goes. And now with the rear seats down and fairly flat, we're looking at 63.9 cubic feet of space in the back of this Equinox. So it's a pretty good use of room by Chevy. And I like the fact that we have a lot of height because we have a fairly square roof. All right, we are rolling down the road in this 2024 Equinox RS front wheel drive. Now, as I mentioned, you can go Equinox front wheel drive or Equinox all wheel drive. For my needs here in the Northeast, I probably would go Equinox all wheel drive. A little bit more money, but safer in the winter. Uh, now, also, what we have on the interior here is the Equinox RS premium cloth interior. You can also option in the RS leather interior. Now when you do that, then you also get a couple other packages that come with it, such as the Bose uh, premium seven speaker audio system and the an upgraded 8-inch infotainment screen <clears throat> as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So that package will run you an extra $2,700 and make the price of this vehicle go from $33 to about $35. Now this one does not have a moonroof, but you can add a power moonroof, but that is an option. That is an extra $1,500. So once you spec up this RS to, you know, with the leather seats and the Bose system and the nicer infotainment screen and some other safety tech that comes with it and then the roof, now you're looking at 37 grand. And at that point, 
probably it's probably worth just moving up to the Equinox Premier uh, because that comes with more of those features standard and probably keep the price down that way. But I did want to let you know that they are all available in the RS. This one just does not have it, most likely to keep the price down to an attractive level for dealer stock. Let me know how you would rock that way. Would you go with something that we've seen already, or would you put in the, the RS leather, or maybe the moonroof, or, uh, you know, and be willing to pay 35 to maybe up towards the 37 grand for an Equinox RS? Let me know about that in the comments, but I got great visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirrors, rear view mirror, no problem at all. I got blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist. All that jazz is in the Equinox RS, so no problem there. And of course the RS Equinox comes with the same power plant as the LT that we saw the last time we were in an Equinox, the 2024 Riptide Blue LT. Equinox only has one engine, and that's the 1.5 liter turbo four with a six speed automatic. That's it. Now what I liked, what Chevy did with the Blazer RS, was they put in the larger V6 and gave it not only the sporty appearance, but they gave it more power, which I really, really liked. And that's what I wish Chevy would have done with the Equinox RS. I, I would have loved to seen them take their two liter turbo and stick it in the Equinox RS, or at least make it an option to choose that in the Equinox RS. If you wanted to stay with the base engine, you could. If you wanted a little bit more power with your appearance RS trim, you could have, choose the, could have chosen the two liter turbocharged engine. Would have given you a good amount more horsepower and torque. Would have made this ride a little bit more sporty and given you something more than just the appearance package on the RS. That's what I wish Chevy would have done. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. But unfortunately, that two liter turbo is no longer available in Equinox. 2023 wasn't there, and here in 2024, it's not available. But it is well damped on the suspension. It's a bit soft, but not bad. Takes the bumps well. The steering, nice and light. Not vague at all, it's fairly sharp, but it's nice and light. You're not getting much feedback, but this is a people hauler. This is an SUV, but I do like the way this RS trim plays off of the Riptide Blue better than how the LT trim looked on the, with the Riptide Blue color, even though I love this color. I think that's one of my new favorite Chevy colors, but let me know what you guys think about that, that as well. But this pretty much rides the exact same as the LT. There is no change in any of that for the RS. And like I said in the 2023 uh, Equinox, this is a straight appearance package, which in my opinion makes it an RS in name only and not an RS that I would want to have in my garage. If I was going RS SUV, I'd probably go Blazer because I would want that extra power. That's just me. That's not everybody. But let me know what you think about that statement. We're going to come down here. We're going to put this through the same paces as we did the LT. And we'll do an emergency stop in three, two, one. Stops on a dime, no problem. It's nice and straight. Now off we go. Got that loud engine humming away, but it gets up to speed. Once you take your foot off the pedal and the engine is no longer under load, it quiets down. I do like the response of the six-speed automatic. As we go down the road, you get some good tech in here. You get your USB-A, USB-C connectivity. You get wireless uh, CarPlay Android Auto. You get great 360 degree view camera action. So that's good. You get connectivity in the back with power in the back. You can drop the seats from the tailgate area. I mean, they give you some, you got the power lift gate. They give you some really nice 
features in the RS. Now you got a lot of those features in the LT, which makes the LT even a greater value than this RS in my opinion. Turning radius, here we go. It's wide, very, very wide. I mean, really wide. I gotta have to do a K turn. So, need some space to turn this baby around. And now we're gonna take off from a rolling start and down the road we go once again. No problem at all. Piece of cake, easy peasy, one, two, three. So let me know what you think about this RS. I made some bold statements about what I think about the RS trim in the Equinox, which is about what I said last time around for the 2023 Equinox. Let me know what you think. Should we be offering that two liter turbo in the RS Equinox for 24? Give us some more power. Give us a reason to buy the RS trim and pay the extra money uh, over the LT. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Let me know what you think about this overall. Or would you go Equinox? Would you go a different trim? Or would you go to a different brand altogether with your hard-earned SUV money? Let me know in the comments. But I want to thank Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Chevy Equinox RS with front-wheel drive only for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also con consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.